Hello, my strong, strong friends. Today I'm gonna do a video showing my day. It's gonna be very similar to a vlog, but at the end, or maybe in between, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my business just because yesterday I spent my entire day at the YouTube space, and while I was gone, Sophia and Parisa have an intern. I have an intern and then I have Sophia. So the team is growing, just things are moving really quickly, and I wanna talk about where I am in my business without being too boring, but just to be 100% clear with you what it is that I do all day. Cause I think when I've uploaded like inside look at the biz, um, usually it's been a photo shoot or something else. But today I'm gonna show you like what we do, even though today is an off day, an off day. So yeah, I'm just training right now. I had a heavy deadlift, went up to 380 pounds, which is the heaviest I've pulled since last year's nationals. That was my second attempt at last year's nationals. So that's good, maybe that'll be an opener. Today was a bit slow, but I'm just getting back into the habit of pulling really heavy. So we started training at eight, and so I have to finish this because today we're going to the Anaheim Fit Expo. I'm dragging ass, not enjoying it, but I'm gonna get through. Fuck. If you've been on the site and thinking that we need to restock or waiting on something to restock, everything's restocked right now. Everything? Everything. Okay, we are finished training and we're getting ready to go to the Anaheim Fit Expo. I started talking a little bit about my business and I want to kind of go back to how I first started. The first thing actually that I did was I decided to sell merch, Strong Strong Friends t-shirts. The first shirt was a design of the Strong Strong Friends logo. I'm a graphic designer, so I have a visual arts background, but I couldn't design this for the life of me. So I had my friend, Ryan, he designed it for me. So the Strong Strong Friends logo was not my design, but I did pay someone to do it and I did direct the design. The first design was a black t-shirt. Put a picture of it here. And we've actually revived it for Strong Strong Supply. And that t-shirt was sold on strongstrongfriends.com, which I originally was like my merch company, but also my coaching company. And now we've tried to clear things up and separate merch from coaching. So now we have Strong Strong Supply and Strong Strong Friends. So Strong Strong Friends now is the coaching business, so only coaching. And our coaches that if you were to ever work with us are here today. You've got me, I'm Meg Squats, that's me. And then Lizzie is hey guys. another coach. She helps a lot with the Be More group mainly, with technique feedback, with overall general feedback to help the lifters continue to kill it. And then Ryan is our other coach. So Ryan is the Excel god. He does a lot of the work in Excel. Right now, we're actually working on a big ass project, a big ass project. Some of you may have noticed if you've ever done our coaching before, our 12 week program, that used to be like our biggest, our like most popular product. It probably still is our most popular product, even though it's been sold out for so long. So we've kind of halted on doing any more sales with the 12 week programs. So basically it's just program only option. We've had to take it off the store because we're working on this huge big project that will kind of change the way we do programming and coaching and make it even more accessible for lifters all around the world to work with us and to get good programming that's customized and reacts to how they're responding to training. So that's really important to us to make sure that our lifters are put first and that they're taken care of first and foremost. So we're spending a lot of time up front developing something that hopefully I'll be able to talk about more. But that's our coaching business. That is the first thing that made it so that I could quit my job was coaching. When I say my job, I used to work as a head of communications and marketing for a small company in DC. So I worked for them for a long ass time. I was able to quit that job and focus solely on what I'm doing here. So there's a bunch of different revenue streams, a bunch of different ways to make money, but coaching is probably the most exciting one, I think for us. Probably the thing that puts food on the table, if I will say. That's it. We've got the crew. We're in Anaheim. We've arrived. Parisa's Made here. It. Lizzie's here. Parisa, introduce yourself. I'm Parisa. I'm Meg's intern <gasps> for a couple weeks. And she's I'm killing from it. Canada. Where in Canada? Well, I go to school in Toronto, but okay. I'm from Ottawa. You'll be on the job market soon, so if anybody yes. wants to hire a graphic designer, Holler creative person, holler at her. I'm sure you'll be getting tons of emails oh, now. so many, <laughs> so many. But we're going to the Anaheim Fit Expo, so it should be fun. 
I've been complaining. I'm oddly bloated, like bloated in a way that I've never been bloated before. Does that make sense? So I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna die soon. So this is my last video. I love you all. Thanks for hanging. It's been real. It's been real. Update your will. I'll be opening all the vlogs from now on. Of course, I'll be at the bodybuilding.com booth. We've got to meet our people to get our passes to go inside, but it should be fun. This is a, another part of my biz. One way that I make money is that I work with other companies on sponsorships, bodybuilding.com being one of them, and I won the spokesmodel search. That's how I got connected with them formally. This is part of my job, I guess, but really I like to go to events like this. I'll be honest with you, I don't love it because it's really exhausting. So today I'm only staying for like four hours. I like to go to meet you guys. Cause let me tell you, I've done eight hour days at these things. I can't do it. I can't keep up, especially now that I know I'm dying. <laughs> this is beautiful Anaheim. <laughs> this is Dean, he's the man. I'm Dean, I uh, work with bodybuilding.com and super excited to have Nick here. You see he's giving me Free passes to go into the expo. Before I used to work with companies, I used to come to expos and pay all this money to travel, to go to them, pay to get in, just like try and hang out and meet people and network. I think a worthwhile investment when you're just getting started, but now I'm pretty much VIP. Always. Did you see that? You gotta put the fake out. They might be, they're really good. So yesterday, the expo, the expo tend to get the best of me, as you can hear with my voice. I got there around 12, and I only spent maybe five hours, which is kind of a long time, but the expos tend to be so loud, and if you've ever come and met me at an expo, I really do try to make it a point to talk to people who have come to like say hi. I'm not that famous, so I don't usually have like a huge long line. Uh, depends. At the Arnold, I had a huge line, but at the Anaheim Expo, I wasn't really talking about a lot. I wasn't like hyping it up. I didn't have my own booth. So uh, people who came by, we did have some time to like actually talk to each other, but it's so loud there that I'm yelling the entire time. Maybe people meet me and they're like, God, she's so loud. <laughs> I don't know, but I just want people to like know that I want to hear their stories and I want to tell them about my story and just like talk to people, but it's not the best place to talk to people. Anyway, so I've just been working. It's Sunday evening. I didn't go to the expo today because I had to do a lot of like at home sort of boring behind the desk work. Most of my job is behind the desk. I probably spend about 40 hours a week like sitting at my desk working and the rest of it 
I would say I probably work like 70 hours a week <laughs> because I still do count like training, filming during training, filming in general. I count all of that as work. At least I try to. Even though it might not feel like work, it is somehow a part of my business. I don't say that to make it sound like, oh, I'm just working all the time on the grind, but I'm lucky enough to have a job that it is kind of fun to work. But I would say, I saw a meme not too long ago where it said it had the saying like, find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And then it had that crossed out, but it said, find a job that you love and you'll never stop working. That's really actually what it means. Because when I had just a normal office job, I had more time for like friends and social activities. But now like my social activities and friends are kind of all intertwined into my business. But it's fun, I'm not complaining. But anyway, those are random details about my job. I am set up in, this is actually in my house. This is like the Strong Strong Supply headquarters in my crib if you ever order a package from us it is sent from my actual house we don't have the return address so if you have to do a return it doesn't come back here which is nice because you don't actually know where i live we have a center that um, receives those packages so don't try to come to the center thinking that it's going to be my house please respect my privacy it's not it's a separate facility but we do ship everything out of here which is kind of nice because we're really close and i'm really close to the product and really close to just making sure that everything is going smoothly i'll be honest i don't handle the actual manual labor of everything like i'm probably not sending out the packages but i'm waking up looking at them every day i'm more my role in strong strong supply is more on the creative side and marketing side. Eric and Ryan run the rest of that business. That's why whenever I've shown the behind the scenes look at my business, it's usually is like photo shoots or handling marketing because that's what I'm responsible for. So yeah, this is like my house. This used to be, I'll give you a little tour. This used to be my office. I used to have my office desk here. Maybe in other videos you've seen that, but I had to change it because this room kept growing and we would have Sophia in here and Eric in here and people just working in here kind of running around fulfilling and I couldn't handle it anymore. I needed some peace and quiet. I'll show you my personal office in a bit, but I got the hell out of here. Even though I love how bright this room can be and this room is so big, I had to move. We're actually uh, in the middle of a restock. So we're restocking some Cali rolls and restocking pretty much most of our apparel. So that's why all these extra boxes are here today. Extra bags, we are getting ready for that. As you can see, I think maybe sometimes people look at businesses or maybe even the perception of my business and they probably think it might look a little bit bigger than this. You might think that my business is bigger than this. Uh, you might think we have a huge warehouse, but that is quite the contrary. We don't, we're not there yet. We haven't grown out of this space. Although I will say we have some things coming up that are really exciting and I think they could be business changing to where we would need to rent out uh, additional warehouse space. But yeah, it's really small. There have been times where I've been maybe a bit embarrassed about that or not willing to share that to show um, the small like the smallness of it all. But I want you guys to know that it's like, I want to be 100% honest. We don't hold thousands and thousands of items of inventory. We're not there. We just started the company maybe like six or seven months ago. So it's just not realistic to expect to be like where Alphalete is or where Barbell Brigade is or where Gymshark is. Those are just like at a place where we are not. And I'm interested in learning more about companies like that and learning how I can grow my company to be as successful as some of those examples my thing is with business or anything i think it truly is about putting one foot in front of the other and just taking the next logical step i have in the past gotten too ambitious or too pretentious and thinking like oh i deserve this huge warehouse and i'm gonna fill it out where it's like we don't need to do that we can like run out of our house for now and we can just take one step in front of the other so don't be ashamed if you want to start a business and you're running it out of your crib that's what i'm doing man that's how like most businesses start in a garage there's no shame in that it is a successful business though i will tell you that much mostly because we don't have that many expenses yet before strong strong supply co was a thing i was selling t-shirts and merch pretty much on strong strong friends and i was using a person who fulfilled and held my merch and helped me make things i was using a person like that who was in kansas city i think uh, really nice people really helped me kind of get my feet off the ground but it was hard because i wasn't in the middle of it you know like i didn't have a taste of what was really going on i felt like it 
I, it was only me um, responsible for pushing things along and I wasn't that good at pushing things along where um, whenever I had an opportunity to work with Eric and Ryan, I was able to split my profits with two other people um, but also I'm with two other people who are just as invested as me So some people might think like oh, you're just sharing wealth when I could be selling my merch and taking like all of the profits myself But for me, it's like I'd rather have other people do the work um, and not just paying people an hourly rate or paying them a little bit of money giving them a cut but like having their teeth like as sunk into this as mine um, because I don't have that much time to uh, push things along like I said and if it was just on me it wouldn't go anywhere I know that 100% fact so it's nice too because I don't have to play like the role of CEO 100% I do take more responsibility on the creative side which is my professional background so I enjoy getting really creative and not having to deal with fulfillment or not having to deal with customer service gives me more of an opportunity to focus on what I do enjoy doing and what I'm kind of good at doing. So yeah, I'm kind of rambling, but uh, so I think I've covered my two businesses, coaching, strong, strong supply. The other way I make money is through sponsorships. So I'll show you. Just across the hall from strong, strong supply headquarters, we have our inventory from pretty much my sponsors. This drawer exactly holds, houses my two most important sponsorship partnerships. Bodybuilding.com. I won the Bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search and as a result of that, they offered me a partnership to promote their new signature line. So their signature line is something that I endorse and Bodybuilding.com pays me to endorse this. I get a salary and also a commission. So if you were to go and buy this, it does help me link in description that does help me a bit and other than bodybuilding.com i was sponsored by special k <laughs> these are two different sponsorships because special k was a one-off deal in january i did a series of four videos with special k but i still have a working relationship with them and i hope that that continues so that was just a one-off deal where i created some content for special k and in return they paid me of course bodybuilding.com pays me recurring monthly so i have bodybuilding.com and renaissance periodization renaissance periodization is a company that i am sponsored by but also i partner with so my athletes Athletes, when they do high touch coaching packages with me they also run renaissance periodization and then I also am sponsored by Tula I partner with them just on Instagram stories because I do love it so much but they give me a little bit of money and a little bit of affiliate money in exchange for promoting their products those are my three like recurring sponsorship deals I also get opportunities to create content for companies. I get opportunities to create content for companies when they want to promote things. Sometimes companies will pay me to create content for them. Uh, that's when you see like a sponsored post on either YouTube or Instagram or anything. Uh, a lot of times it's a one-off deal, not recurring in the way that bodybuilding.com is. Whenever I do get these deals, I have been trying to be more intentional with creating something premium because i am getting paid to make something for the company that represents them well and they're supporting me so that i can continue to do what i do continue to make a living by creating content and by lifting to be quite frank i've been trying to make it a responsibility of mine to get as creative as possible when companies are paying me to do something. I know whenever I see a famous person or a sponsored ad, sometimes I'm just like, this is so incredibly boring. I wish they could have put like more thought and energy into it. Timelines tend to be really short, but I'll show you an example of something that we're working on for sponsored posts that are coming upcoming on my Instagram. I don't think I'll tell you who it's from, but it is really exciting. So I'm helping push an apparel, like fitness apparel line by a company that you 100% have heard of, but we're trying to do a couple of retro things. So we wanted to go to an arcade and shoot some content, but to be honest, it's really hard to rent an arcade and it's really expensive. So I've come up with Jerry Rig solutions. I'm gonna take this light and put this translucent, sort of translucent lucent cellophane paper on the light so that I can get a kind of 
colorful backlit photo and then I'm gonna use LED lights to make it look like I'm in some sort of weird environment that is like one of the things that I'm working on today and it gives me an opportunity to get more creative and have some fun with a sponsored post it's not just like hashtag sponsored we're done uh, I do want to use every opportunity to work as a you know a chance to get creative and a chance to have some fun because that's really what they are and luckily this summer um, I do have an intern thing who's a graphic designer and then Sophia has a creative background and is interested in creative products like that projects like that so I think that about covers how I make a living I think so I'm sure I forgot something there so if you guys ever have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below I know this at the towards the end of the video got a lot of like really long-winded but I guess the biggest thing that I want to drive home is that I wouldn't have any of these businesses if I didn't start making YouTube videos and that was a chance that I took you know I kind of made myself a little bit vulnerable and I felt really weird doing it, it felt awkward um, but it really has changed my life just by taking the chance and putting myself out there you know I get sometimes I have my down days and there are some drawbacks to it, but overall the benefits outweigh the bad, like bar none. Anytime I have a bad day, usually I complain about it to be honest, but the good days make me really thankful that I decided one day to pick up the camera and talk about lifting because it really has opened so many doors for me. And, and I only hope to grow the businesses that I have and just keep having fun with them. That's it. I guess I'll show you a tour of my office. It's sort of a mess here, but my office is also like my vanity room. So I do my makeup here in the morning and then I wake up, usually light a candle. These are the best candles that exist, Alupsa. These are the best, absolute best, any flavor, smells delicious. But this is my desk, it's a standing desk. I think I've shown in my uh, house door. So yeah, I moved that here and then this couch barely, barely, barely fit in this area it's like my nice little getaway nice view to the backyard i can hear people lifting when they're in there so i know what's going on okay that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to like this video if you enjoyed hearing about the business i have thought about possibly exploring other businesses and like asking my friends if i can intern at their businesses and so that i can learn how to better operate and run mine Possibly I could take you guys along. 100% I would take you along if I were to ever do that. <laughs> so let me know if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in. Subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.